And the win over Boston College here on Wednesday. Musius loves to stroke it from three, and he drills it. Oh, the width right there, that's certainly a basket that Wake Forest needed, and he did that by himself off the dribble. Well, when you talk about the Duke pressure, Dan, it's really impressive how Carter Witt has looked so far playing for Wake Forest this year. Moore was cutting on the baseline. Good hands from Wake, and here comes Witt. Masood, the trailer, never gun shy for three. Shot clock below 10 for Roach on the drive. Lost it momentarily. Underneath, there's Stewart with two, plus the foul. As the ball squirted to him. And being a very versatile offensive player, and maybe Mike Krzyzewski ought to put this one in the playbook. Stewart, Stewart gets it and just flips it up over his head. Here at Cameron, going back to 1997 when Tim Duncan was a senior. On that post move, he could easily pick up his fourth personal foul. Kick and pop. Masood is dangerous. Hurt bit on it. Masood on the drive and a blocking foul. Boy, Duke now has 12 offensive rebounds in the game, and this is exactly what Steve Forbes did not want. Another offensive rebound. Who else but Hurt? Roach on the reload. And a third chance again, and Goldwater converts. And Wake Forest changing it up, a little 1-3-1. One, one. They're probably going to try to trap out of this. Too much space, though, for Matthew Hurt, who's got a new career high. And Duke, 79, Wake Forest, 68. It is 22 straight Duke victories over Wake Forest.